Hello darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry and today I am making a soap using my all-time favorite and I have not used it in forever. I fell madly in love with Ultramarine Blue a few years ago. I mean so much so that I went and bought a big old bag. <laughs> this is four pounds. That's how much I loved it. No, sorry take that back. It's two pounds. As you can see I've used quite a lot of it over the years but um I really just love the color and I've been watching a couple of soap makers. Tiggy over at uh, the Future Primitive is one and I believe Katie at Royalty Soaps. I believe. I believe she did a soap recently with uh, Ultramarine. I could be wrong but I do believe it was her. So um, I decided to revisit it because I kind of forgot about it. That's crazy. I love it so much that I forgot about it. But <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm kind of going to do the same swirl that I did for my custom order. I just decided to do to do blue and white I'm um, gonna let you guys pick and I'm gonna do that as well but this actually is filmed before that other video even went up that's why I haven't done you guys colors yet but I felt inspired to do it so I'm going to do it the fragrance I am using is solar powered by rustic essentials yes it looks cloudy and the bottle is very very full that's just because I put I'm gonna take a second crack at using my uh, color stabilizer it has very very little vanilla in it and I figure maybe if I just fill it up with a lot of color stabilizer it'll uh, not a lot it was probably not even an ounce but um, if I just fill it up maybe it won't change I'm not gonna put in the white just the blue so and also I'm going to put a mixture of uh, calendula petals and blue cornflower on top yes cornflower petals on top so um, let me get everything mixed up and I'll bring you guys the right back So now I'm going to go ahead and pour off my uh, better. So the white's going to go in here. And what's in this cup? I don't know if I mentioned that already, but it's titanium dioxide for those of you who do not know. So I'm just going to fill that cup up. Yeah, because I do want um, some for the top. I don't know if I'm going to have thicker blue lines or more white. I'm not sure. Matter of fact, I'm going to fill that up a little bit more as much as I can fit in there and then I'm going to scrape down the sides and then I'll pour in my ultramarine blue after I give it a a buzzing because I did not mix this so one thing you don't want to do is splash that everywhere because <laughs> it is very very concentrated and um it will stain things if you leave it on there not your skin of course okay pour that in it's don't have very much i don't even know if you guys saw what i just did but uh i'm gonna pour some of that in there and scrape it down mix it up and then scrape it back into my pot so that is what we are doing here Right. and then I'm going to hand mix that for a minute alrighty so now I've got a bigger bow it works out and look at me I got actual even amounts check me out guys okay so I don't care if a little bit of this gets in here Scrape those sides down in there because we don't need any blue speckle, uh, blue speckles <laughs> or speckled soap, should I say? So get that down in there, and I think I want to add a little bit more just to get this that bright pop of blue, the the blue that I love. So have a little bit more of that, and I will not be putting this in my batter dry, just because I really don't want specks okay so got that mixed in and then i'm just going to add some more yeah that's a big difference in those two blues and grab my spatula make sure i get the right one 
so I really hate to put my white and glue splashes together. Oh, oh, I almost poured that on the table. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I surely almost did. All right, let's get that into the bowl. Ah, I'm just insisting on sloshing this everywhere. And then I'll get my fragrance oil mixed in once I mix this up good because I don't want it to thicken up for me doing a lot of stick blending, you know? Okie doke, so we are back and um, I did forget to mention how great this smells. This solar power from uh, Rustic Essential, the name doesn't do it justice at all. This is very, very fruity. If you can still hear me, I'm going to run off the computer. But the notes on this is uh, citrus, orange, lemon, grapefruit, uh, mixed with a little bit of jasmine, honey, and summer fruit bouquet, gardenia, a little bit of carbon. This is amazing. It is so summery. Um, I just, I had to use it. And I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it before that's why it took me so long to use it but when i thought to do this design this was a fragrance that i just instantly popped in my head so and it, it smells fantastic it's like you can smell each individual note of fruit in here you really can so um now we are going to go ahead and start pouring and i'm not trying to be neat i am just going to start pouring and let me see if i want to use this normally I just hold it with my hands but if I don't have to then why should I <laughs> so hopefully it'll work without me having to hold it hopefully you guys can still see it oh um my titanium dioxide came from TKB trading my ultramarine blue came from TKB trading this mold um, for those of you who want to know and get one for yourself came from an Etsy shop called custom craft tools the owners Alex and Alex <laughs> are fantastic um, They are great to work with and if you have um, If you have a mold size that is unusual you can ask them to make it for you and they will so on that note enjoy the music Alright, so um, battery died, and while I was waiting on it to charge, I went on and bought three new batteries <laughs> and a new charger. So, um, because that's quite annoying, and then I, why haven't I bought a new battery up until now? Because I just kept forgetting. But, um, yeah, so I did work a little bit while I was away. As you can see, it's at the top now, but it was just really the same pattern over and over again. So, you guys didn't miss anything crucial. You really didn't. But this fragrance, y'all, let me tell you, it is a maze boss. And this soap will be ready at uh, the end of April. I'm sure by the time you guys are watching this, you'll probably have a week to go or it may be listed at this point. So please do go and check it out. If it's not there, you may find some other things that you like just as much. But it will be listed at the end of April for sure. Alright, let me move that out the way. I'm doing thicker lines of blue and it has thickened up quite a bit because I want to get rid of all of it I don't want any for the top I decide I'm gonna put well I'm still on the fence about that I think I'm going to put um so I might as well oops that's not what I wanted hold on guys But um, I'm thinking about putting some orange sea salt on top. It wasn't orange sea salt. I uh, actually put orange mica, uh, which was Clementine Pop Mica, which is this one here, by Rustic Essentials. I mixed in a little bit of sea salt there. So I'm thinking that it's going to go on top of the petals. Not fully decided or committed to it. So my lines never have to be the same thickness I think that's what kind of gives it more character I think when they're not all uniform all right
All right, so basically you've seen me do this over and over. I'm gonna bring you back when I'm done with all the blue because I wanna save time for the battery so I can finish the top. Okie doke, I know this is a little bit further um, than where I left off and where, oh, my spoon. <laughs> but like I said, I wanna kinda get to show you guys the top versus me trying to get this piled up on here. And I waited for a little while for it to set up some because as you can see, it's still quite runny but I'm ready to get this show on the road. The sides are gorgeous. That's really pretty. Yep, get this show on the road so I can get on to the next zip. <laughs> and I know my little fur babies probably are standing by the door to murder me as soon as I enter upstairs because I just, it felt like when I went upstairs not so long ago, it was just four o'clock. No, it wasn't even four. It wasn't time for me to give them their um, afternoon feeding. And now it's after five. So, <laughs> yeah, I know they're pretty. Uh, oh, jeez. This is so soupy. Yeah, I'm, I know they're not very happy with me. All right, guys. You know what? I'm just going to have to let this sit. It was 15 minutes that I waited. But it's going to have to sit longer. It's just way too loose for me to do anything with. So, let me go upstairs and feed my fur babies and give it another 15 20 minutes and i'll come back in the meantime i can charge this battery i guess it worked out after all okie dokie i think we're ready it's been about another 15 minutes and now i'm able to do that so i probably should do that first but no it didn't matter because like i said it was too um too loose to do something with anyway. Did it just make any sense what I just did? Nope. <laughs> okay, so yeah, oh yes, it's holding its own now. See, it's oh, it's, it smells so good. You can smell grapefruit in this really, really well. I'm just which way am I trying to go? I'm trying to go this way because I don't want all of my soups going the same way. It's too much on a spoon. And I like how it's pulling that blue up. And I can see on this side it didn't set up as much. So that's kind of annoying. <laughs> and it's so hard to go in the opposite direction for me. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> okay, so now and now this looks like pony's hair or something. A rocker pony. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just trying to make it fit on here nicely where it feels right. Okay, it felt like, you know, it was perfectly set up and then when I started moving it around, it all started squashing out again. So I'm over that. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up these sides like that. And then what is overhang will be trimmed off. Because this soap is tripping. I know I like to have some fluid soap, but this one is just doing the most. It really is. <laughs> and uh, please do not do what I am doing and not have on gloves. It's not good to not have on gloves. I do have to fix that side though. That looks not good. Now we can get to salting and calendulating <laughs> and corn flouring. <laughs> Finally, geez. Okay. Enough that. All right. All right. All right. I think we're ready, guys. Okay. So I think I'm going to put my salt on first. And of course, I had to go and throw my glove inside the salt. Good job, Kenny. Um, do I want? No. I'm going to put my paddles. Ooh, I don't know. Sessions. So I'm going to take a little bit of the calendula first. I think this is really going to make this look fat. Yeah. So take some calendula first. And then I don't want a crazy amount, just really for a pop of color. That's what I really just wanted it for. Okay, and a little bit more. And a little bit more. Ooh, that stuff is flying everywhere. Now. I'd like to see me get all that back in the bag. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to take some corn flour. 
And these both came from Nurture Soap Supply. These were freebies for me and I love them. Because um, I love free stuff. And it's very useful. And I've had, honestly, I've had this bag of corn flour for about two years. <laughs> so a little bit goes a long way. And just could be I don't use it that much. But still a little bit does go a long way with this. Okay, so see? See that? And look how that blue just really made things just look amazed, y'all. Amazed balls, y'all. So that is all I'm going to put of the blue. I guess I don't want to go crazy. I just want it to have a little accent color. And now put a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. So I'm going to use my fingers just because I don't want anything crazy. And so clearly I mix way too much because that's all I'm going to use. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, this is going to sit overnight. Um, my soaps normally sit about 8 hours, eight, 8 to 12 hours tops unless it's like humidity issues or something. And then I'm able to take them out and cut them. So uh, stick around because that's coming up next. Hello darlings, we are back with the cutting of uh, this soap. <laughs> it's been a couple days, so I don't even remember what it's made out of. <laughs> um, but anywho, you guys just saw it, so. I unmolded it, uh, when did I unmold this? Day before yesterday? Yesterday, one or two, not sure. But, I like the way it turned out, it's really gorgeous. So I am going to cut it on this side, just because. It has lots of, uh, it feels so nice. It has lots of botanicals on top. I don't want any drag marks. You guys are going to get another video from me and Gabriel. Oh, that's a bad cut. Because uh, he's down here right now looking for his fragrance. Oh, that's pretty, but that's a terrible cut. Got to be more careful. Say hi, Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. <laughs> hi, everyone. <laughs> Happy Easter. Yes, it is actually Easter today. We got this morning, went to church. It was lovely. We had a really good day and went out to lunch with his brother, my in-laws, and sister-in-law. So, I've been really wanting to see what this is going to turn out like. So, it doesn't look like um, the pink one that I did, but it's beautiful. I do like it. I really do like that a lot. I really hate I messed that up because it's really pretty. What do you think, Gabe? I like it. It kind of looks like, uh, like the ocean and the waves. The yeah. White, the white, you know, the foam. White cats. Yeah. It's, like it's nice. Top. Me too. I think the top really complements it. I think, I think I wanted less blue in my mind's eye. I saw less blue, but I'm not mad at it. it smells yummy, doesn't it? it smells good. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, I like that a lot. Today is April 1st. This will be ready the end of this month. And um, also, what's over there? What is over there? Simply Beautiful is over there right now. Um, There's some more soaps that are on sale. I'm trying to clear out the ones that weren't selling very fast. Uh, Hawaiian Sandalwood, which was Gabriel's, that's over there now. And quite a few others. So yeah, be sure to go and check it out. Find yourself some goodies. Because there's a lot of new soaps that are ready. I like this a whole lot. I really do. That's really pretty. This roll is actually pretty decent. Hope you guys had a fantastic Easter. Yeah, I really, really did enjoy myself today. Okay, come on off of there. And I'm glad that I waited to cut this because it's cutting extremely well. And it smells so juicy. It smells a lot like pineapples. Oh, this was solar power. That's what this was. I had to think about it. It smells like pineapples right now as I'm cutting it. And this is a gorgeous soap. And I just love how far my new recipe is. That's what I've been looking for for a long time because my soaps would be kind of kind of tacky until they would cure out. And I didn't really love that. But now, I use the same amount of water, just some more hard oils. And I'm very happy that I changed it. So again, all thanks goes to Tiggy. <laughs> because I drew inspiration to create another recipe because her soap is so fabulous. So, thank you, girl. 
Uh oh. Uh -oh. Gabe is already having technical difficulties. I'm okay. <laughs> These swirls, oh, that's lovely. I do like it a lot. And the soap that I'm going to do today is going to be a similar pour, but different. One of you, you know what? Give me a second to grab my phone because I'm going to tell you exactly who you are. You made a comment and you asked me, you stated that you're not a soap maker, but um, what would it be like if I used a funnel um, for one of these pours? And I'm like, huh, as I was thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? I just might try that. So, of course, you aren't going to see that today. You will see that um, soon enough. <laughs> I don't know uh, when this video will be posted. I'm trying to find my channel. Come on. And of course, when I try to find who it is. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it is Rachel. Um, that's you right there. <laughs> it says, I've never made soap in my life. So please excuse me for not knowing. Honey, please don't excuse yourself. There's nothing wrong with asking questions. Uh, not knowing techniques, but after watching the trouble you had with the liners and seeing how open you were to experimentation, I was wondering if using a funnel would be an option or like one of those special pancake ones where you press a button to release the mixture. So, I'm going to actually use your idea. So, thank you, darling. I am going to give it a go and see how that works. But there's going to be more to it. So, yeah, be sure to watch that video because either it's going to be fantastic or a mess of fail. <laughs> That's dark purple. Yeah, talking to Gabe, helping him with his colors. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, and if you're new to my channel, hello, I am so pooped and happy you found me. I'm glad you decided to stick around and uh, watch this video. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you did, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And subscribe if you haven't already. Become a part of Stinking Awesome Crew. It's very easy. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. And you will become a part of my Stinking Awesome crew. And if you want to get notifications of whenever I post a new video, all you got to do is hit that bell, which is on this side. <laughs> I think it's on this side. I always get confused. But yeah, just look along the title area. You should see a bell click. And that way you can just mosey on over here and see what I am up to. Would love to see you back. Really would. Alrighty. So there's that one. I love these swells. I love this top. I love this soap. This smells so good. So very good. All right, last piece. I just don't. Should I? Yeah. I'm big enough to cut a sample off of. Because that back is very ugly. All right, and there we have it. So, again, love hugs and kisses. Thank you for being around. Be awesome, amazing, everything you do. Always keep it positive. Happy Easter once again. And on the next video, I'll see you over there. Bye.